In PC Crash 14.1, there's been an overhaul of multibodies. You can see I've got a simple multibody block up here, but you'll see it's actually got sharp edges. This is because there's now a shape parameter where you can choose something other than the standard hyper ellipsoid that's been used in previous uh, PC Crash versions. So you can do all the same ellipsoid uh, calculations with uh, the hyper ellipsoid, but you now have a position-based dynamics model that you can use different shapes for. So for example, you can have cones. If I toggle here, you can see the shape of the cone. You can change all the parameters to make these things longer and shorter. So for example, in the y direction here, make this cone a little more cone shaped. There we go. Uh, you can do uh, actual boxes like we showed. You can do uh, a cylinder. So with these shapes, you can now make new, more complex compound objects. So there's really a lot that can be done. Uh, you'll see that uh, under the settings, under the system properties, you say what kind of solver you want to use. So there's a soft body solver that uh, you typically want to use. This ODE solver is what's been used after PC Crash 9.2, uh, which I believe is Open Dynamics Engine. But the position-based dynamic dynamics solver can now be used for these new shapes. So just to give you an example, in the uh, a, the multibody folder, there is a shape with a bunch of bunch of cubes, well, rectangles, boxes stacked in a wall. So what we have here is, if you look at it from the front many, many of these blocks. There are 240 blocks. They're just stacked up, and I've got this police car here, which I'm going to drive into it. There we go. So if I just play the on-screen animation, I'll go to slow-mo, Flip my camera. See, I've got reflections on in the car there. Kind of cool. And these will actually interact with the wheels. So you'll see if he actually drives over some of these things, it gives a little bump. So right there, that one didn't. But you have the option of turning on uh, interact with uh, vehicle DXF wheels. And depending on the DXF shape you've got, it'll uh, do that. And so you see that if we look at the velocity here of the vehicle, see how the velocity drops to that impact? If I redo this and make everything in the wall lighter, let's say we make it the total wall 1,000 kilograms instead of 4,000. Here, I'll turn on those wheel contacts too. Run it now. You're actually hopping a little bit as we start interacting with some of these things, I think. And so you see that we get a much slower drop because the, the wall elements are all lighter. But as we interact with some of these things, you see we actually start hopping up. So you, there you go. Lots to uh, do with this one. I'll put some uh, links to some of the uh, foundational uh, articles on position-based dynamics uh, in the description. And uh, check it out in PC Crash 14.1.